Okay, so what do we got here? I have a letter from John Quincy Adams. John Quincy Adams, yeah. huh? 1822, he was Secretary of State then? Yes, and he was president in 1824. Well, he was elected in 24, and then there was no inauguration until March. Okay. Because they didn't want to travel in the wintertime. <laughs> yeah. I found it in a box of items that I got from my uncle when my uncle passed away. I'd like to get $6,000 for it. Uh, I would drop down to five, but that would probably be the least I'd take. So what is this letter about? This letter actually pertains to a census that was taken, and they included 16 to 18-year-old undocumented immigrants that were here, and they had to go back and fix it to the proper census. So basically we have here John Quincy Adams being Secretary of State, sending a letter and saying, you did the census wrong, redo it. Right. OK, interesting. Yeah. A letter signed by the president, the content is so important. Right. If you had a letter by Abraham Lincoln talking about freeing the slaves, that is worth a lot more than Abraham Lincoln complaining that his bathroom doesn't work. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm right. saying? Yeah, the content okay. doesn't matter. So things like this are always scary to me because it was just common, common practice to have your secretary sign everything for you. You're a busy guy. Yeah. Or this was back in the 1800s. The president might have been drunk. <laughs> but the paper looks right. The ink looks right. Have you checked this out at all? I have. I've done some uh, background on my own okay. on the internet. I did match up his signatures and things like that. Okay, I'm assuming you want to sell it. Yes. I was looking for $6,000. Um, this is actually great shape. Um, you're lucky because this has obviously been under glass for a very, very long time. Do you mind if I call someone in? No, not if it's going to help us. I think okay. make sure it's real, too. All right, um, I'm going to call him up. OK. Uh, hang out a few minutes, maybe buy something. OK. You got some cool stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of history behind this guy. I mean, he's pretty much groomed to be the president of the United States at some point in time. And this guy really stood out, you know? OK, so is it his signature? Did he write the letter? And what's it worth? And we'll look at a few things. First thing I'm going to do is look at the signature under magnification. I want to look at the ink. And I could see this is using a quill this overlapping on here, especially right in this area. You know, we know this is live ink. And what I did bring along today are several examples. It's really flowing. It's a very beautiful signature. Here's one example, and we see some similarities tying in here. And what I want to do on this one especially is look at his last name. And I'm starting to see the same thing over and over again, because that's actually the abbreviated. And this makes sense where he would do an abbreviation to this as well. And everything matches up pretty well here. OK. From everything I could tell, we're talking about a peace sign by the sixth president of the United States, right. which is kind of cool. All right. The letter itself, you have a lighter ink, you have a darker ink on here, and two different pressures. Right. In this case on here, and this is pretty simple, and it's something that you know I've studied a lot, this isn't his writing. Could have been written by a secretary. Back then, they called it signed by proxy. And you think that just because the differential between the? Well, I mean, there's the several ink. factors. Obviously, the ink, but also just the style of writing. It's not his. So, what's it worth? If it was three years later, a handwritten letter by him could go for five to ten thousand dollars as a sitting president. But this is Secretary of State. It's a little less significant. Stuff like this typically runs at about sixteen hundred dollars. They don't go for much more than that. Okay. Thanks, man. Thanks. Good to see you. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks. John Quincy Adams is a collectible autograph, you know, mostly just for presidential collectors. I mean, is he desirable? Yeah, to an extent, but not as much as like Abraham Lincoln or George Washington. OK, so if it was written in his hand, we'd have a whole lot of money, but we don't. I think the whole thing was written by him. All right. Just as the discrepancy in the signature and the letter itself was just the way he signed things. OK, well, um, you know what? And you're always free to have it checked out by somebody else. All right. I'd give you like a thousand bucks. Yeah, for that, I think I'm going to go to keep it. I'll keep it. You need to save it for my kids or do something else with it. So. OK. Sorry we couldn't make a deal, man. Thank you. It's not his handwriting. you got to be kidding me. I'm going to try and go ahead and legitimize it 100% and see if I can get some more opinions on it.